So different flavors coming out in this draft, which will be cool to see, especially for Weibo. Because Weibo have, again, been opting a lot more for the tanks up top and the time they top side, because you do have three members strong on the top side of the map as well. Giant taking a hefty trade there from Shanji, nicely played by the rookie top laner. I will just mention, uh, it almost got them the double skull. SOFM actually lost the smite against Aki. Aki was able Ooh. to get the, the top scuttle, but it, it almost worked. It almost worked beautifully. <laughs> yeah. But either way, the gank doesn't work onto Cream, and that's a, a key factor as Cream teleports back into lane now with a tier, a ruby crystal, as well as his pot. And Shanji <laughs> finds a solo kill onto the shine. That is gorgeous. Yeah. The trigger will be not pulled. Will not be pulled. Able, just takes a zap on this bottom side and Aki is hovering around this bottom lane right now. Mon is cautious, he's very far ahead right now. The plate is good against the Zenith plate, but I don't think this is gonna save him. Mon Fung will get out with his life, but on accepts his fate. A kill given over to Abel here. Winning on both sides of the map so far from the side of OMG. Good. Obviously has to go for that Ever Frost first item. Dark passage available. Mon Fung will be fine. Another attempt from Shanji. You gotta try and make the cast plays when you can. Yeah, tries to look for it. In the meantime, OMG, we're trying to look towards mid. Aki just hovering around so Cream can push out freely. They're gonna look for the play. A warp, that's gonna be the Flame Chompers. A great dark passage and a hook as well. It is gorgeous from On. Is he gonna survive the Scorch? Is it enough? Way over one out play. Yeah, really nice uh, use of those Chompers coming out from Quan Fong. More to this patch at this point, I've cast it for. Well, we've been 12.2 for the I was majority say, let's be of real. Split. Oh! Okay, oh, nothing. Takes a bit of a hit. He actually goes over the wall, flashes forward to stun on. They're just going to focus the support. If they'll save Wong Fung every time, then instead we'll just go for the savior as <laughs> so FM, little aggro in the mid lane. Has to be set. That's coming in as well, but Cream zoning him off. Sets up for SOFM and Angel to turn on to him. It's another play! Yeah, now they get to go for their aggressive play. Bit of revenge onto Cold. As it'll be SOFM to grab that kill for himself. And uh, they won't get too much on that, right? On has just been so proactive in terms of like being somewhere first. Now proactively walking into Cold. You can't play the flash Q, that's for sure. Aki finishes that kill off. And just as we're praising On for being proactive, understanding what his opponents are doing, they read him like a book. The mid lane tower from OMG. And the team that we've been talking about doing well on the macro, now getting out macro, but Shanji on the front line is going to be stunned up. Great hook coming out from On as well. It's a 5v5 in the jungle here for the Moonlight Vigil from Angel to start things off. Angel knocked away. But oh, Wong Fung's just free firing. <laughs> I'm dying apparently mid team fight. As, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a two for one for Weibo. I think I just nearly died. I also feel like an important thing, right, is when you're trading one for one, so way more than just to maintain this even game against OMG, and that's a, a scary position to be in. But Shanji now getting caught out on the bottom side, Everfrost available for Angel. Shanji doesn't get to play the game, just locked up forever as the Shy now jumps in with the damage, finishes the kill off. Aki here's trying to answer, but a great exhaust means that he can't get the damage out. Well played by Wave. And this is a play I really love to see that I feel like we don't see enough, even when champions like TF, Rise, Galio. 20 CS at 26 minutes into the game. That's kind of nuts. That's kind of insane from Hong Kong as the second Drake is taken out by Weibo. But great positioning from them. Be able to threaten a denial on this Baron at the same time. On coming from the base, there's only three members of Weibo here for the time being destined to use. There's a lot being used on to Cold here. And Angel into enemy territory. We're going to see a flip for the Baron. It's taken by OMG. Can they get the fight, though? It's into the pit they go. It's going to be GA popped already for the side of SOFM. Flashes out of the pit. Now health bars low for OMG. Hook goes wide. Weibo can keep on chasing this one. Wild cards in. Cream has to flash away from this one. They need to get some resets off. They need to get the recalls out. But Angel over the wall finds Abel and takes him down. OMG realm warping supposedly to safety. But where have they actually gone to? Further into the jungle. SFM wants to try and stop these recalls. He needs to be cautious to go for it by himself. That's two recalls out. But Aki found. Looks like he'll be the sacrifice for two players to get out. Yeah, overall Weibo pick up some kills still though. OMG able to, to secure Baron on two members in a game that really...
It's already the Shy doing so much work before the fight ever begins. And now SOFM with GA. We saw this at the Herald, and we might just see it at the Drake as well. Able to go over the wall with the Destiny. They can see the Drake, but actually doesn't commit to this one. Once the team fight's dead, Rome Warp gonna come on through. It takes three people out of the fray, but it means that these carries are sacrificed, and Angel has a Zonyas, so he keeps himself safe. Three get out from OMG, but they do get the Drake. And now for Weibo, they can just turn towards mid. They already Again, decided it is a Cloud Soul, which, you know, maybe undervalued. Doesn't give you combat stats, and the Gage comes in. Oh, he's already gone cold. No way to survive this one. And a hook onto Cream as well on. Doing such a good job on this Thresh. As usual, we see him on the Thresh, and it, it always looks fantastic. The Shy stepping forward. Make sure nobody can be picked off by Angel. But Destiny going to be used to port back to this mid lane once again. Deny entry, deny the proxying that OMG are trying to pull off here. Weibo grouping up though, protecting their minions. A shock blast doing half of the health. There's a rocket as well. Aki barely surviving. He now goes down the Realm Warp out, but it's only one person to escape. And the rest of the team will be fodder for Weibo. Cream tries to escape, but the gold card stops him. Not a singular casualty for Weibo as they take over. Yep, OMG, they try to be cheeky, stopping those waves, but they give a window for Weibo to find the team fight. And now Weibo, their momentum's not gonna slow down. They're gonna make their way towards an eight series win streak. They certainly are. Game number two left us scratching our heads, but game number three, practically immaculate from the side of Weibo. The first and third game of every series seems to be their forte, a 12,000 gold lead as they finish this series out and continue their win streak at the top of the table. Yeah, <laughs> just thinking about their trajectory in terms of how these series play out is uh, pretty funny. Again, our top, our top two teams right now, Weibo and V5, do have uh, a lot of close shenanigans in their series, pushing them to game three. But we saw this game, Weibo change it up in draft. They go more towards playing around sides. They bring out the one three one. We see the uh, the double soul lane picks uh, in terms of like the destiny coming out. You use that to, to keep the shy's momentum going. You're finding picks. It all worked out.